A lot of hype for this year's men's basketball oh, yeah. team from Boise State heading down to Las Vegas, gearing up for their first game of the Mountain West Tournament, which tips off tomorrow. They're going to take on UNLV. We are going to go live right now to Las Vegas, where our sports director, Jay Tess, is standing by with Bronco Nation, as well as Boise State Athletic Director Jeremiah Dickey. Yeah. Jay, what's going on? Yeah, uh, draped in blue and orange, I guess, Morgan. Uh, ever since I've been coming down to the Mountain West Conference Tournament, there have been certain basketball programs that have traveled really da well down here to support their squads. It turns out Bronco Nation is now one of those basketball programs traveling in full force to Las Vegas. One guy you always see on the TV is Nate. How excited are you to cheer on the Broncos tomorrow, Nate? I'm extremely excited. Can't wait for tomorrow. And we can't miss your orange hat, obviously, right? I mean, that's a can't miss item. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can see I'm going to make my way through the sea of blue and orange. Follow me here. I'm, 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 I'm going to go back through here. We got Jordan. And of course, Jeremiah Dickey, Boise State's number one fan, is in attendance. Jeremiah. What do you think about this after record setting attendance at the X all season long? It looks like you brought some friends down here to Las Vegas. That's right. You know what? We set the expectation and these guys are delivering and I can't thank the Blue Collar Club enough. Can't thank our fan base enough. Uh, this was an amazing season and just the beginning. You know, Jeremiah, I've been coming down to this tournament for a long time. Honestly, I don't know if I have ever seen this type of excitement for this men's basketball team. What does it mean to the program to see this continue to grow? This is part of part of the process. You know, we sold out of our allotment this year, which is huge for us. And this is just the next step as we go through this process and what we planned two years ago. We're living out in action and we can't do it alone. It takes a team. All right. So selection Sunday right around the corner. If you look at the numbers, gosh, it certainly seems like this basketball team is in the NCAA tournament. They deserve to be in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. We're all holding our collective breath. Are there any plans for Selection Sunday with fans potentially? One, we absolutely deserve to be in the tournament. There's no question in my mind. But yes, we are planning an event on Sunday. We will let our fans know on Saturday. A lot still needs to, to play out, and, and uh, I'm more concerned about tomorrow and the 1-0 mentality. You know, it's so interesting. Um, oftentimes, too, we don't necessarily have to make plans in the past for Saturday. But yeah. Saturday is championship Saturday, and now apparently that's a big-time concern for the Broncos. Last year when they were traveling home, they were in the air on Selection Sunday or during the show. How, how, what are the plans to get the team back in time so that they can enjoy that show themselves this year? Yeah, I got a lot of comments on that, so I appreciate you bringing that up. <laughs> um, we are going to get them back on Saturday, so we have planned for that, and those are our expectations. That'll be amazing. Um, in terms of expectations, I know you have great expectations when it comes to the basketball facility. It wasn't that long ago the Seattle State Board of Education gave you approval to start that process. Where does that stand now, and how bad do you want to see that project done? As most know, because I've been very public about it, it there is a process, and, and but the first step was massive for us, getting approval on the design build. Grateful for our state board, grateful for our institution, we are depending on a lot of people to help us through this process. And so the next step is an RFQ process, and we are we are on our way. I mean, I, you're always energetic, but I feel like I can feel your energy even more tonight, Jeremiah. I need some more coffee, Jay. <laughs> I need some more coffee. I'll get you out of here on this. What has Leon Rice meant to not just this basketball team, not the athletic department, but Boise State University? Uh, I, was, I was talking to someone earlier today. Leon has been just amazing, and he's been such an asset for me and someone I very much lean on. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure, you know, obviously being here two years, uh, you know, and seeing how Bronco Nation is embracing him, um, be very proud of what he's doing and be very grateful that he is a Bronco. Jeremiah, as always, we appreciate it. Big game tomorrow. You can tell that Bronco Nation fired up for this one as I send it back to Boise. Uh, Morgan, Brian, I don't even, I can't even really hear you right now. It's so, it's so loud down here, but I will have plenty more coming up in sports. We talked with Leon Rice a little bit earlier today. You're going to hear from him in just a few minutes. Oh, you can feel the energy through the TV right now. Exactly. So excited for tomorrow. So excited. That one at a time mentality is going to have to take them through That's this right. tournament. Because again, win and they're in, Sunday then will be a much easier Focus. way to get through. They just will find out who and when they play coming up on Sunday. All right, thanks, Jay.